Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at something a lot of people run into when they use follow me to create pipe like shapes. Um, specifically, if I want to make something like a 90 degree elbow. So in this uh, model right here, I have a couple of pipes that aren't connected. And I'm going to pretend that what I want is like a 90 degree elbow, just connecting these two pieces together. So what I may be tempted to do is grab my arc tool in here and find the center of the first pipe, find the center of the second pipe, and then just, uh, you know, pull an arc out like that. And I'll come in here with a circle, make it slightly bigger than the original pipe, and I can grab this arc, hit follow me, and click on the surface. Looks okay, kind of, but if I zoom back or, or look around here at all, I can see where it's not parallel with the end of that pipe. Um, this might be okay if I'm looking at something from far away and just general massing gives me the idea that that's there. But if I want a good looking pipe, I want this to actually turn around so that the, the face right here is perpendicular to the direction of the pipe it's connecting. I'm going to hit undo a couple times and take a look at this arc. Now the issue is when follow me starts, it takes that circle that I had and makes it perpendicular to this first line. So this first line is actually not parallel to the pipe, it's just slightly askew there. So straight down would be like this. See the difference there? Same thing on this end, this would be straight down, or straight out. So you can see it's automatically changing. So how do I fix that? What would I do? Well, the answer is these two little guidelines I just drew. I'll get my arc command, connect the ends of those two lines rather than the centers of the circles. And then I will use this line rather than the one that started off the end with my, with my two pieces that are parallel to the pipe. If I do that now, draw another circle in here. Again, just slightly bigger than the pipe. And I'm going to grab these three segments. If I want to, I could actually use an extension like TIG Weld or Weld to weld those together into a single pipe. Um, it won't make a difference, though. I can grab the three pieces, hit follow me, choose this, and there, now I got a good looking elbow on there. So you can see that this first section is now perpendicular to the length of this pipe, and same with the end. And all that by making sure that the first segment on that arc is parallel to the direction that you want the end to go. So something to think about when you're doing follow me to make this kind of geometry is make sure you have that extra segment on the end and that'll give you a, a good looking elbow in a pipe like that. Thank you.